Shalom, everyone. Well, I guess you guys didn't care very much for my last video. Uh, I guess maybe you just don't care about uh, Job's friends, uh, or Job, for that matter. But for future reference, uh, Job is a book in the Bible. It, it's, it's one of the prophets. It's part of the Old Testament. That's the testament that most people don't seem to want to read for some reason. You did seem to like my Mark of the Beast video. Not really sure what to make of that, but uh, great, I guess. Well, here's something that maybe you'll like better, or at least you can identify with better. I am talking about bullies. We've all come across those people who are expertly skilled at making us feel worthless, feel afraid, angry, and feeling ashamed. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's you. Over 10 years ago, the pastor of the church that I was attending at the time, Pastor Russell, mentioned something in his sermon that really struck a chord with me, and it's never really left my mind. Pastor Russell said, you have the right to self-defense. And I don't think I had ever heard that before. I always thought that I should let people walk all over me, you know, to, to show how pious I was, to show the world what a, a good Christian I was. But as I thought it over, over the next decade or so, Pastor Russell was right. Jesus didn't let people walk all over him until it was time for his death on the cross. And he had a very specific mission in mind for that. Just before Jesus was crucified, he told his disciples, buy a sword. Because things were going to start to get dicey now. And I finally realized that as Christians, we are to treat everyone with dignity and respect. Because they are made in the image of God. The Bible's very clear about that. And yes, that includes the bullies that we deal with. But folks, let me tell you something. That also includes ourselves. It includes us, treating ourselves with respect and dignity. And I am embarrassed, frankly, that it has taken me this long to realize that. And today I made the difficult but necessary decision to take action against my current bully. And there have been many in my life. Factoring into this decision was a private conversation I had with someone who was familiar with the bully. And they explained to me, this is what this person does. This person throws people under the bus. And while that didn't necessarily help my present situation, it did provide a measure of comfort. It was at that moment that I knew I wasn't alone, that I wasn't crazy, that it wasn't just me who was going through this. And also factoring into this decision is the fact that problems are better dealt with sooner rather than later. Now, as with most bullies, there is a power dynamic, and it's usually not in the victim's favor. Bullies are expertly skilled at doing things that, while hurtful, are not necessarily actionable. And I'm not really optimistic about how things are going to turn out, but at least I said something. At least I spoke up. At least I respected myself. If you are dealing with a bullying situation, whether it's at school or at work, or even at church, I urge you to take this matter to God. 
Ask God how you can take some kind of action in a godly way. Help is available, and you are entitled to that help. God wants to help you through this. Put him at the top of the list. God wants to help you more than you want his help. Let that sink in. Do not make the same mistake that I did and think that you are being pious and being a good Christian by letting someone walk all over you and abuse you and take your dignity and take your self-respect. That is not piety. That is martyrdom. And you do yourself no favors by doing that. God loves your bully? Yes, it's true. But he also loves and respects you. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. It just came out that way. But maybe it's time you get into agreement with God about how much he loves you and respects you and values you. I hope this video gets more than six views. Thanks for nothing. But for those of you who do choose to watch this video, I thank you for watching, and may God bless you.